Welcome everybody, Jack here from Ginger Bets and this week I'm previewing the RBC Heritage taking place at Hilton Head Island. Harbour Town Golf Links will host some of the world's best players and in this more detailed preview exclusive to sportspub.com I'm bringing you a breakdown of the course, the key skill sets required and bringing you my best outright selections, well nearly all of them, to get the full Ginger Bet's outright selections portfolio, you're going to have to head over to sportspub.com straight after this video because there not only can you get the rest of my outright picks, you'll be able to get access to my best top 20 selections, best outsiders to consider, three ball action, plus at the weekend there's also the two ball action. So thanks to sportspub.com, we've got your golf betting needs covered from Thursday through Sunday every single week on the PGA Tour. Sure to save you time, sure to make you more informed and sure to give you an edge over the bookmakers. But in this video is a detailed breakdown of the course, the key skill sets and those outright picks. Let's get to it with the course itself. Harbour Town Golf Links, par 71, four par threes, three par fives, two of those come on the front nine and the rest made up of challenging par fours, many of which are dog legs. This is a Pete Dye design track and anyone who follows golf will know that Pete Dye tracks cannot be overpowered. These are strategic courses that require placement off the tee and precision with iron in hand, which leads me nicely onto the key skill sets required this week if your player is going to lift that trophy come Sunday night. Well, first up is driving accuracy. This is a tough and demanding track from the tee box and therefore driving accuracy is of key importance. It's not often we say that on the PGA Tour, but this week it most certainly is. Then I want to look at tee to green performance over the last 36 rounds for the players that I'm looking at. I don't believe that you can arrive here in bad tee to green form and find your game here at Harbour Town Golf Links. I believe you're going to have to bring your best form with you. Then we're going to look at strokes gained around the green and this is because this week these are the smallest greens on the PGA Tour which inevitably means they're going to be missed with regularity. The top players here will miss 30% or more of the greens in regulation which means they're going to have to get up and down 30% of the time to protect their scorecard. So we want to look for players that excel in that area. Then I want to look at a key distance with iron in hand which is from 150 50 to 200 yards and that's because there's a high percentage of shots from that range this week more so than the average PGA Tour event and to round out the key skill sets required we're going to look at putting on the Bermuda grass putting surfaces look for players that are in form with that flat stick well I've done all this research for you to save you time and hopefully that will give you an edge over the bookmakers this week let's hope that we can get a winner as I'm about to reveal my outright selections but to get access to all of them, then you're going to have to head over to sportspub.com. So some of you may have already seen the best outright pick this week for this event, and it is the Englishman who's seeking his first win on the PGA Tour. He arrives here in good form in the Masters. He hit greens with regularity. He gained strokes off the tee, and on peak die tracks over the last 36 rounds, he sits in the top 20 for accuracy, strokes gained off the tee, approach play, and putting. All the stars align for a strong performance from my headline selection, but MGM's the place to go and get it 22 to 1 Matthew Fitzpatrick will headline the portfolio for the week Second up, I'm staying with another Englishman and another player that's revised his form recently. He also performed well at the Masters where he ranked fifth in greening regulations gained, third in strokes gained off the tee, and at peak die tracks, he ranks in the top 20 for bogey avoidance, for strokes gained around the green, and in the top 10 for strokes gained off the tee over the last 36 rounds. At 40 to one with BetMGM, Tommy Fleetwood will be my second selection of the week. He will also be a top 20s lock for me this week. He will be one of my top 20 locks for sure. I think he's got an outstanding game and I believe that he can challenge for the title, but certainly pick up a top 20. 
Third selection of the week is a player who finished seventh here last year and he is in the most consistent form of his life. Again, he's got an incredible wedge game, a real good around the green game and I believe that this tactical nature of this layout will play to his strengths. Statistically, he sits up well. He ranks in the top 20 Four strokes gained approach and tee to green performance over the last 24 rounds on tour. And he sits third in strokes gained around the green. All the stars aligned for a strong performance from Chris Kirk, 55 to 1 from Bet MGM. He will be the third selection of the week. And for selections four and five that are available around the 50 to 1 mark, you're going to have to head over to the sportspub.com website where the reasons why will all all be detailed along with the selections. If you can register for the full Ginger Bets Golf Betting Insights weekly package, then this will be delivered to your inbox each and every week. We've got the outright selections, we've got outsiders to consider, we've got top 20 picks, and then on Thursday we've got the three ball action, and it doesn't stop there. The weekend action sportspub.com have you covered as well they are going to be bringing you my best three ball selections over the weekend or two balls depending on the tournament layout and that is sure to give you an edge over the bookmakers time and time again we're going to save you time make you more informed and give you consistent edges over the bookmakers in the usa Good luck with all your wages this week. Thank you for listening and may I encourage you to head over to sportspub.com straight after this video. What are you waiting for? You shouldn't still be listening. Get over there right now. Bye from me.